Okay. Hi, this is Mr. Bloom. I've been asked by several students about the homework quiz uh, for 10.5. People are having issues with rounding, and rounding is a bit, very important thing for you to learn how to do. You cannot round an answer every time you get a number back. You've got to round once at the end only. Otherwise, we have something called rounding error. And I'm going to give you an example of that in our uh, first one here as we go. I'm going to get my calculator up here so we can talk about that. Um, so I'm looking at find an area of a regular polygon. Round your answer to the nearest tenth. And it's a pentagon. So I'm going to uh, draw out a pentagon real quick. And I've got to find its central angle. So it's 360 divided by 5, which is 72. I take that 72 and cut it in half and get 36. And what I'm doing there when I do that, I'm splitting my triangle up right here, and that is a 36 degree angle. Now, keeping in mind that I have a side length of 10, and that splits my side into two equal parts, and I have to find my apothem. So to find my apothem with a 36 degree angle, I'm going to blow that triangle up here. This is 36, and this is 5. i got to find that. So I'm going to use tangent. Tangent of 36 is equal to 5 you know, opposite over adjacent. So I'm looking for my apothem, and I have to divide by the tangent of 36. Okay, And I've got a lot of people going, yes, that's what I've been doing. But you see how I'm going to leave my answer for my apothem? Because my area, my area is one half a n s a n s one half my apothem five tangent of thirty six times the number of sides five times my side length ten. Now I'm going to put that all in my calculator. So watch what I'm doing with my calculator here. Okay. So I have one divided by two. That's my one half. I could put in uh, 0.5 as well. Um, my times, my 5 divided by the tangent of 36. That is my apothem. Okay, and I'm going to close that out. And then times 50. That's 5 times 10. And I got to make sure you guys see the 5 times 10. I'm going to hit enter. And my answer is 172.047. I'm supposed to round to the 10th. Because this number right here is a 4, it's 172.0. So my answer, rounding to the 100th, is 172.0. And I put in the 0 because I'm showing that I'm rounding to the 100th. Keep in mind that we're looking at the idea that this is inches squared. And if I were going to round to the 100th here, I would have gone 172.05 because the 7 is greater than five there and that four would go up but that's our first one okay our second one here that people have been frustrated with okay so we got 172.0 okay so we move on our next page our next one is when people are looking it over if this ever opens up is a triangle and there's a formula for that the area of a triangle Okay, the area of a triangle is one half my the A B sine of C or one half A C sine of B. And actually this one's probably A C sine of B is what you guys saw. Okay. And that really is talking about the sides that are provided. This is this is really a side angle side, side angle side um, triangle area. Okay, the two sides must make the angle that we're working with. Okay, so I've got one half, uh, 14 times 5, or 15, sine of 125. Now, I'm not trying to find things separately. I'm just putting it all together, and I'm putting it in my calculator. Because that's what it's for. This, these things are fantastic. It used to be that we had to, like, you know, do intermediate numbers, uh, values, and stuff. But right now, because of the true view screen, I can put in that one half times 14, times 15, times, and I've got to check my uh, mode. Um, I've got to have it in degree right here, times, and a second quit. 
Uh, got to get to the end there. Time sign of 125. And enter. So this is 86.01, and this is again nearest tenth, which is 86.0. And remember, I show the zero. I know people are like, well, there's no value there, but I was asked to round to the tenth, and I'm showing that I did that, and I considered the tenth, and that's what it is. Now, in this next one, I have something here. Find the area of a regular polygon below. Round your answer to the nearest tenth. And I should write that answer in from a previous one here, 86.0. Okay. Now, this next one is about um, a pentagon again. Okay, so now I want to make sure you recognize we just did um, an equation uh, with the area of a triangle. And I did one way of writing that equation. And keep in mind that the area, what, what, the, what you've seen is one half BC sine of A. Okay, B and C are the two sides that make side A. A and C are the two sides, uh, not side A, but angle A. And that should have been a capital B. And then AC should have been, should be the sides that make angle B and so on. But generally what you guys know is this. Now we're going to apply, I'm going to get this in front here. We're going to apply, apply this equation. And people are like, what do you mean by apply? Well, when you did notes, Ms. Gosha showed you all the equal, uh, the isosceles triangles inside uh, a polygon that's regular. Well, because this is a regular polygon, all the sides are the same. Okay, so I'm going to evaluate this equation differently. The area of a polygon when you're given a radius is the number of sides in that polygon. It's one, two, three, four, five. It's five-sided polygon times my one-half, my radius squared sine of my central angle A. And people are like, what? So keep in mind, the length of my radius is provided, right? So that's equal to R. The number of sides was 5, or is 5, excuse me. The number of sides is 5. My radius is 5, excuse me, 6 in this case. My radius is 6. We're going to square it because, remember, we had B, C in that other um, deal. And then I have my central angle, which was 360 divided by 5, 72 degrees. So the sine of 72. Okay. So I've got that 72 my 6, my 6, and I can get the area of this and then multiply it by 5, and I have 5, the full area. So now, how do I set that in my calculator? Okay, I'm just going to slide this over a little bit, get my calculator up. Okay, um, we're going to clear this out. I have 5 times 0.5 times 6 squared is 36 times the sine of 72. Now, this only works when I'm provided a radius. So now I've got my radius is 6. That's 6 times 6. That's my BC. And so I found the area of one of these triangles that make up my regular pentagon. And I multiply it by how many of those triangles I have. Okay, so we've got that going. Now, I've put that in. And once we've got it in, we know my answer, rounded to the nearest tenth, and I'm going to double check to make sure it's rounded to the nearest tenth, is 85.6. And that is feet squared. So that's a really slick way to get that done, and I would do that every time. And it is an application problem of this equation. Okay? So make sure you know. Now, let's go on to our next one.
Now, I've got to find the error of a regular polygon below round to the nearest tenth, 18 gun with perimeter 54. Now, what's really cool about this uh, one half ANS, area is equal to one half ANS. Having a formula tells me what I have to look for. And remember, N times S is perimeter. The number of sides, the side length is the distance around. And in this case, I have an 18 sided figure. So 18 sided figure and it has uh, 54 as the total. I could find how many, how long the sides are and that's three times 18 is 54. So I know each side is three. Or, you know, you could have some 54 divided by 18, found three if you wanted to. Now, an 18 sided figure. I have my triangle, half of it's 1.5. Remember, the whole thing is three all the way around on one side of my figure. 360 divided by 18 is 20. So the whole deal is 20, but I just want half of it. So this is 20, 20 degrees. So now I want to find my apothem. So finding my apothem is the height of this triangle. Remember, this is a right angle. And that's the center of my figure we're looking at. So I've got opposite, which is an adjacent. So I've got the tangent of 10, excuse me, tangent of 10, 10 degrees, tangent of 10 is equal to 1.5 over A. So A, my apothem, is 1.5, the 10 of 10. Now, with that found, I have my apothem. And that is the work I had to get done. And please notice, I am not putting that number in my calculator, I mean, down on my page. I'm putting the value I'd put in my calculator to get it, and then multiplying by 54, my perimeter. And this will allow me to get my answer, and I round only once. So now I'm going to put in 0.5 times 1.5 divided by tangent of 10, because remember, that's half the degrees of 20, times 54. Remember, I have to make sure this is closed. If I don't close that, I'm in trouble. Times 54, and that is 229.7 is my answer. So I should be looking at 229.7 and it is meters squared is my answer. And remember it's 229 because this number here is greater than 5 and it goes up. But keep in mind if you have rounded this value during this problem you'd want to make sure you used out the five, four, five, six. Uh, digits depending how big these numbers are okay it's always best just to use the whole um, expression and put it in your calculator now sliding on and we got to put in our 229.7 we are looking to find the area of a regular polygon round your answer the nearest tenth 20 gun with radius 3. Now, remember, it's a 20-sided figure. 20-sided figure that keeps going on forever. I've got radiuses of 3. Okay. I've got to find that central angle, which is 360 divided by 20. Okay. This ends up being, um, knocking that out, 18. So that's an 18-degree um, uh, central angle. So now you got to keep in mind, we are adjusting our area formula for triangles. We are looking at the number of sides this polygon has. Because it has a radius, I have my radius squared times the sine of my central angle. Okay, so that's the sine of my central angle. So now n is the 20 times 1 half times my radius squared, which is 3 squared, that's where 9 would come from, and I have 18 degrees. Now I can combine some stuff, so this is really 9, and then this is 10, so I've got 90 sine of 18. If I wanted to write my answer in exact form and not round it at all, that would be it. And I am now just going to pop that in my calculator. 
So I've got 90 times 18, excuse me, sine of 18, and I hit my enter. Now, did you notice I did not close that there because there's nothing following it. If there were, I'd have to close it because otherwise it'll mess up with my answer. But here, to the nearest tenth, is 27.8. Okay, I'm going to submit this if it lets me. And that was my last question. And because I'm just like checking out the test, it won't let me do anything else. But if you have further questions, make sure you talk to me. It's about how you round and where you do it. I hope this helped. Have yourself a great day.